welcome back to or welcome to my channel. If you haven't been here before, my name is Cheyenne Alton and if you have, thank you so much for watching my videos and supporting me. It really does mean a lot to me. And today's video is going to be a very interesting one, hopefully. I've wanted to do this video for quite a while and I will be talking about finally upgrading my filming equipment, changing my filming um, setup, what went into deciding that. And I will also be talking about affiliate links and marketing. If you have seen my last video, you would know that I am starting with affiliate links. But I will only be working with companies or being an affiliate of companies that I use and I love. So, if you saw yesterday, well not yesterday, but the last video, you will know that already. And if you want to learn more about affiliate marketing or links i will recommend checking out kathleen manning and her video on it i will have her channel in the video link down below it's really good it's really um educational and i love kathleen manning i love her videos and honestly it's helped me grow on youtube when i started watching her videos and thinking more about what i'm doing so yeah but i will be talking about finally upgrading my equipment um i will have a link to ebay where I bought some of my equipment, I'll have Kmart links and all that to where I got my equipment and I'll be talking about my new laptop. Finally a thing, I finally have a new laptop. That I broke the other one. I don't know how. I shut the screen and it just like shattered. I didn't even do it that hard, it just shattered. Going to it was like a dick seven year old laptop. But yeah, and I'll also be going through how I've kept my filming equipment organized and my art equipment organized and tomorrow, not tomorrow, maybe, depends how I feel I will be doing a video on how much money I've actually spent on my true crime series and I will be revealing my new logo and my intro for the series so keep your eye out for the next video Hey, all of you will know basic YouTube 101 it is so important to have a ring light or a tripod um, so basically, if you have been around for quite a while, you will remember this bad boy from one of my makeup videos. I am so sorry, I even thought that was a good idea to post. I got this from Reject Shop, and it does have a light in it. And it cost about $18, I think. Hang on. Tried to turn it on, and the bath is dead. Story of my life. So, I've upgraded from that little baby to a new baby. This is my new ring light. Um, my mum bought it for me. Well, she bought it at Kmart when I was working one day. It was $19 and she showed me when I got home I could not stop thanking her. It's got a spirit level right here as you can see and if you don't know anything about building your spirit level to just make sure that everything is equal and once the bubbles in the middle it means everything's level and it's all good. And so this one's really good, it's hooked up to my laptop at the moment and so you can see here I think it pulled out a little bit is how my laptop died just behind the scenes of my life yep, okay, it's all good now so you see that blue light, that means it's working, power button on so it comes on with this and so if you hit this button it changes colours oh my god it's a fire <laughs> honestly I love this light the most it looks the most clean to me um, you won't notice any difference when I put the camera back on me because it is daytime so I won't use it like that is a waste of power but who knew for once me filming during the daytime and you can make the light brighter or not so bright it's really awesome, I love this and you can make a different lens, you can adjust it from this point and it's really good, um, you can also adjust where you have this and if you remember this baby my universal holder that I've had since my old tripod I still have it, I would use that one more for on the go filming but quarter inch thread, fucking awesome. If we look down here, there's a bunch of different containers. They were tins that my nan had and she was trying to get rid of them. And I was like, you know what? I need to store my shit functionally. So this is filming. I used to post a note so I know what was in each. 
put the art art stuff go in here. They film me. I'm not good at opening stuff one handed, so I'm just gonna use my feet. Um, I have my OG tripod, little baby, and I have different phone holders. So this one actually came with this tripod. This phone holder, it says Anko, so you know that's Kmart brand. It came with the ring light. And I have this baby, which I never thought I would need so much. It's a lapel mic, well that's what I call it. Call something else, um, you'll see what it's actually called in the eBay link down below. Um, so, the fun thing is I didn't realise how much I would actually need it. I'm glad I bought it when I did. Um, because now with the ring light, my filming setup is like way further back. And I can do that. I never realised how quiet the audio was. So I have to use this more and more. So in my true crime series, you will notice me wearing the mic. I know it looks stupid, but it works, and it saved me having to buy the really expensive mic that you can't see. So yeah, that's my filming supplies. I will have links to everything down below, and I also have my wireless charger in here and the cord for that. So that's basically me updating my equipment, and me storing them. And if you look behind me, this is my new filming setup. Sneak peek to the logo. I think it looks so cool. Um, it was meant to turn out black, but the printer went, nah, we're gonna print it in grey. I've got a shitload of border collies on here. Mainly because I know that from watching a lot of like Kendall Ray videos, Gabby Losis videos, a lot of Lowy Lane videos, that a lot of people pay attention to animals in the background, especially if it's a scary topic because it's like a distraction, so you're looking at a cute animal, it's not as scary, so I wanted to have a bit of that, but obviously I can't have my cat or my dog in here, they would absolutely um, go through everything and eat something they're not supposed to, so I thought why not have colourful border collies. And yeah, so that, that was me deciding my new filming setup, these are drawers that I've had since I was a kid, we had them at the old house, they came with us. But I figured it was a white background and it had a bit of a setup and it was much easier and the light comes from the window which is that way. So I figured it made more sense instead of just filming in random spots and not getting proper lighting. So yeah. If we look at this baby, I have got a laptop. It is a HP notebook. I love it so much. Um, I'm just going to point you back at the ring light, that way you can't see my password, because, like, I've been hacked enough times in my life. So, yeah, basically it's on my Facebook page. Um, I've got links for everything that I have purchased. Um, I couldn't find anything for the original ring light, because, like, I don't think, um, Rage Top sell them anymore. And, yeah, so those will all be down in the link below. And yes, and also I have an interesting piece of info to share with you, so I actually did keep track of how much I spent on equipment. I have a screenshot somewhere. I use sheet fonts. I'm learning how to use them. I'm proud of myself. Please work. Please be the right one. Okay, so basically this I wonder why that's not coming up clear. So this is my equipment. So basically, equipment, cost of items. So the octopus tripod, $8.99. Ring light tripod, $19. The universal holder was $14.26. Lapel mic was $4.80. And the original ring light slash mirror was $18. So all together, I spent $65.05 on filming equipment. That is not even including this laptop. This laptop was near enough, about $450, I'd like to say. I got it from Australia Post. I'm proud of it. I love it. I feel so good. I have something that is my own. Oh, okay. That ring light does make a bit of a difference. So, now you understand the filming setup. The amount of money I have spent 
on my equipment. That is honestly not the most money I've spent. When I share with you how much money I've spent on my true crime series, in terms of books, because it's easier for me to have books because when I go to my grandparents on the weekend, they don't have Wi-Fi, so with books it means I can work more remotely. And yeah, plus I love having books. It's interesting just reading back for everything, like, in a couple of years' time. And yeah, so what I want to talk about now is affiliate marketing, affiliate links. Um, like I said, Catherine Manning is much better at explaining it to me, so again, her video on it is linked down below, and her channel is as well. As well as other YouTubers I talked about, like Gabby Losis, Kendall Ray, and Loey Lane. I love their content, I love Loey's um, paranormal stuff, I love the true crime stuff that, Lo that um, Kendall and Gabby Losis cover. And yeah, I also love Samantha M. She's a true crime Australian YouTuber. I love her um, content. I was watching her Ivan Malat video to help me out with the Ivan Malat series. So yeah, those channels will be linked down below. But with affiliate marketing, I am starting to do that only because as you can, if, as you'll see in this video and the next video, it. I have spent my own hard-earned money. I am a fast food worker. Um, so, even though it's my choice to spend my money and do this, and I love doing this, um, it is nice to earn some money. So that's why I have I have worked with the company before, um, Twisted Eyewear. I worked with them when I was fresh out of high school, about two years ago. That's scary. I'm 18 now. So, I worked with them, they sent me some sunglasses, at that point I didn't have a PayPal account. And so I, they just sent me sunnies, I took photos in them, they featured them, and now that I'm 18, I have my own PayPal account. I have started, I have become part of their affiliate program officially, and I do have a link for you to get a certain amount of money off their sunglasses. Their sunnies are so amazing, they're so high quality, the metal feels nice. The lenses are amazing, so you are paying for quality if you pay full price. But with my discount code CHIAMYT, um, YT capital, no capital C for the beginning of my name, that will be linked down below as well. You do get um, $39.95 off selected products on their website. And the reason why a lot of us, especially smaller YouTubers, do affiliate programs, affiliate marketing, is because it is a way for us to earn money before we hit that threshold. I am nowhere near hitting that threshold. I hope maybe one day, but at the moment this is what I am doing. And yeah, so I like recommending products to you guys, especially for smaller creators. Um, it's nice to know where you can get good filming equipment, where you can get good things. But I also do haul videos like with Kmart and Dollar Choice and all that. So. Um, I do recommend products to you guys all the time. Um, so yeah, that's it what I want to say. I will never work with a company that I don't believe in, I don't stand by, I don't agree with. I will only promote companies that I love, that I love their products, I love their mission, and they are truly good companies, and I believe that they have everyone's best interest in mind, they're not trying to scam anyone. And yeah, so that is today's video. I'm sorry if that's a bit all over the place, but I just thought it would be interest. it makes more sense for you guys to see me upgrading my equipment as to why I'm not, why I'm postponing my series. Because my other video on Ivan Malat, even though I split it into like six, seven parts, wow, can't believe I had to do that, it was still really long and it would not upload, so hopefully it will, I can find a way to do it soon, but yeah. I hope you guys like this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!